Ladies and gentlemen, this is the paperback copy that became popular and popularized Einstein, titled The Universe and Dr. Einstein. The writer is Lincoln Barnett. He is the writer I conferred with at length, who said every word, every algebraic symbol, equation, etc., is Einstein's words, and he claimed his work, his ideas, and that's how the book was published. Thus, let us proceed. The back cover was the challenge for yours truly, reads The Search for Truth. Therefore, let us proceed. This presentation, I revert back some 30 plus years per Doxy PhD company. Theoretical mathematical physics from a historic and philosophical viewpoint. Therefore, I use for reference this accurate account, 1638. Galileo Galilei published two new sciences. Realize the true work and value of Galileo Galilei. Without Galileo's work with the pendulum motion, there would be no Newton Principe. This is a book written expert Latin, which Newton couldn't possibly have written. Newton had experts say what he would present and then wrote this book in, of an expert Latin, supposedly by Newton. Now, all physics comes from Galileo's inclined plane. This is by an R.S. Westfall. Galileo defined basic components of natural phenomena, and he worked with motion and mechanics correctly presented, especially per mathematical uh, expressions, these basic dynamic relationships. V equals D over T, A equals V over T, equals D over T squared, when A equals 9.8 meters per second squared equals G. The acceleration of free-falling mass due to the attractive force of gravity. Regardless of the shape and sizes, all types of mass attracted to the Earth's center per same acceleration. The established per inclined plane, pendulum, free falling demonstrations, etc., the scientific method. Established dynamics, a branch of mechanics concerned with the effects of forces and the motion of a body or system, especially by forces not originating from within the system. Galileo, I repeat with emphasis, Galileo's three laws of motion. One, law of inertia. A body at rest remains at rest unless acted upon by an external force. A body of motion remains in motion and in a straight line unless acted upon by an external force. Two, the force law. Force F equals mass M times acceleration A. F equals MA. Three, law of action and reaction. For every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Galileo demonstrated this by rolling a ball down an inclined plane and opposite this inclined plane was a duplicate inclined plane, and it would roll up that opposite inclined plane with the same D equals VT. If you say, those are Newton's three laws of motion. No. Newton, with expert helpers, wrote in Latin, he represented, he plagiarized Galileo's work and ideas. I presented said proof of that in a former expose video. Now let's go moving forward. 1898 to 1905, Henry Poincare, mathematical physicist whose math and physics is beyond Einstein's, put forward relativity. If you say relativity, that is Einstein's original work, no. Poincare, at least three years before Einstein, put forward titled relative motion, titled it relativity. 1899, Philip Leonard, he demonstrated the photoelectric effect. Now, Philip Leonard was world famous. In fact, in 1905, he won the Nobel Prize. He was in the same area as Einstein. Einstein knew of him, knew of his work. Now, 1900, Max Planck. Quantum theory of matter, where matter is radiated in discontinuous bits. Now, Einstein puts an effort about saying about discontinuous bits being radiated. Put forward by Max Planck uh, five years before Einstein. Also, Max Planck 
wrote E equals HF, phenomenon occurs in nature per E equals the quantity N plus one half, that quantity times HF. 1902, Philip Leonard discovered the, photo, the photoelectric threshold frequency. Now, in 1899, Philip Leonard demonstrated the full electric effect, yeah. In uh, 1902, again, Philip Leonard discovered the full electric threshold frequency and also the kinetic energy of photoelectric emission is independent of intensity of incident light. He demonstrated that violet light waves produce emissions due to its shorter wavelength, but higher energy content. Now, this was... Einstein got the Nobel Prize on the photoelectric effect that it, it was a threshold frequency. Now, this was three years before Einstein published. Now we get to the most important, in my opinion. 1903, Olinto de Preto, real originator of E equals MC squares. He published in a science magazine, ATTE, A T T E, two years before Einstein. Again, in 1904, Olinto de Petro refines and republishes E equals MC square in the Veneto Royal Academy of Science. 1905, now Albert Einstein represents the work of, and ideas of others. Tomorrow, I'll delve into the search of the truth. I'm Doc C, and this is PhD Company. Thank you.